What's going on everybody? This is Alexander from Arrowhead Tactical Apparel bringing you something a little bit different. Now I'm not typically one to be right on the cutting edge of new releases. I typically like things to get a little tried and true before I buy them, but I'm a huge fan of clones and so I had to take the dive on this one. This is the new PSA Saber. It's the M110 at home. So let's go through what you get in this. So first things first, it comes in this big old savior bag, which, uh, you know, is of questionable quality and will probably end up on Gunbroker, but it's nice packaging at least. Inside each of these front three, you get a manual, a lock, and then there's a tan PMAG in there, and it comes with three total tan SR25 style PMAGs, which I will probably swap out for metal magazines because I think they are way drippier, but that's not what we're here for. So. You open this thing up, it's nice, it's double lined, it's got a lot of room in here. And this is what we came for. So this is the gun itself, you know, M110 at home. It's what I'm gonna keep calling it. Uh, honestly, first impressions of quality, it's pretty nice. I got the billet version, which is a little bit more expensive and supposed to be a little bit higher quality. So we'll see if that holds true when I start actually using it. Comes with a Magpul bipod, which I will definitely swap out for a Harris or something that's a little bit more clone correct. This kind of funky, three prong flash hider thing where every prong is a different length. I don't necessarily know how I feel about that, but it, it, it's whatever, it's fine. Adjustable gas system, mine's a 6.5 Creedmoor. I have never shot 6.5 before and I wanted something that was a little bit different than my SCAR 20, so there you go. Um, comes with a Radian Raptor LT charging handle, which is actually pretty nice. And for a stock rifle, I'm not displeased with the trigger. Just listen to that real quick. It's crisp, it's got a nice break to it. Uh, I love the hollowed out stock. It's got a nice swivel swing, uh, sling adjustment down there. It's kind of cool. I'll say that the, the safety is a little sticky. That might go away with more cleaning and a little bit more use. Um, and it's got an ambi bolt release, which I thought was a pretty cool feature. So, you know, very plain, no markings on it. Um, and a couple of scuffs from the factory, but that's not a big deal as far as I'm concerned. So, um, $14.99, I think, was the MSRP, and I paid it like a schmuck because I wanted to support PSA, and, uh, you know, I want to see more cool clone guns on the market, so we will see how this does. I'm still deciding what glass I want to put on it, so if you have any thoughts on that, leave it in the comments. Definitely going to do something first focal plane because I want to make this a proper long-range gun, so we'll get it out there and we'll test it in, you know, coming time, but since these are so new, I wanted to get a little bit more content out there just with them, and I got to say, you know, initial, initial impressions, I like it.